morning, everyone. I want to make this little YouTube channel for my Fix It, Do It Yourself Fix It channel. I want to discuss what a lot of people don't understand about house wiring and why breakers might blow. You In the kitchen, you're using an electric grill, using a rice cooker, microwave, something like that. Or you got a refrigerator that does a hard start. And this little mathematical formula is going to let you understand what's going on uh, with your breaker and kind of how it works and what to look for. Okay. Let's open up the formula here. Here's volts right here, which is the kind of current you're getting. Amps, which is how much power, how much load you can actually pull. Okay. 15 amps is the normal circuit here on the northern east coast in the USA. Uh, other places they use uh, different uh, volts, like 240 or something like that, 220, uh, different amperages, and it might be 5, 10 amps. So, but the formula is exactly the same. Okay, understanding volts is the same, amps is the same, watts is the same. The formula is the same. Volts times amps equals watts. Okay, a lot of times you'll see rating on appliance. Usually on the sticker on the microwave, it'll be an in indoor label, it'll be underneath or something or in the back. You'll see a sticker and you'll see your actual watt rating. Um, one of the ones I looked at recently was 1,450 watts. The rice cooker was 400 watts. The pressure cooker was 900. And the grill was 1,450 also. And the person didn't understand why he had two appliances on, why he kept tripping the breaker. And I explained it to him. And they explained to me that uh, that's not the way it works. Well, actually, this is the way it works. Uh, you can substitute a 20 amp here and understand that uh, you're going to get more wattage. But you should never, ever substitute a 20 amp breaker where you have a 15 amp breaker if the wiring is not 12 gauge. If the wiring does not support it, you're going to heat up the wiring. You're taking a chance of causing a fire inside the walls. It's actually against cold, at least here in the northern USA. If anybody asks you, to, asks you to, to do that, please don't do that, okay? It's uh, not a good idea. Other places, you might have some type of arc fault, aluminum wiring. You want to, Whatever breaker you take out, that's the breaker you want to put in, for the most part, unless somebody else did something stupid and you see something that's not correct, or if you pull a breaker out, okay? So if you have all these appliances and using two of them at once and they're in this range... A safe mode would actually be about 80% or so uh, where you're not going to heat up anything. But when you get to the max here and you start tripping that breaker, that's probably why. So hopefully you guys can remember this little formula, understand it, check your appliances. It might give you an idea why you're tripping breakers in the kitchen. I've had people get an 1,800-watt uh, hair dryer using the bathroom, trip the breaker all the time, and question me what's going on. What's wrong with electricity? Uh, do we have a short in the wall, so on and so forth. And no, that's not the case. It's they're using um, too many watts, pulling too much current, too much amperage. Okay? Hope you guys remember this. Enjoy the video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.